Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, this is Farmer Envoy Extreme. Here we are on the Domain du Mir Malin, this is by Swiss Farm. It is 116.08 megabytes to download, and this is, on first impressions, a map farming at that ain't all too bang bang action at, but it is a very simplistic, very well done map in that, and to be fair, so I'll say it would be like a, a very nice starting farm for a or starting map for a normal player coming into the game map because you got a bit of everything. Now. You got a little bit of forestry in it and decent sized fields. It does give me a bit of a Felsbrun vibe map from FS19. Obviously, you got the Ube Rune house in that, but without further ado, as always, time to be down below. And if you're going to enjoy this video, then please leave a like, comment down below. If you want to share them, please be my guest. And if you're not subscribed yet, then please do. Because, yeah, I'm still going to be doing FS22 content, but obviously with FS25 coming out next week, I will be doing a lot of videos, including at the moment I've got 34 videos I've got planned. Notes and all that ready to go. So when the game comes out, I'm going to be busy for the next couple of weeks while making content. But without further ado, let's go over slot count and your starting equipment. That. So, in terms with your slot counts on... New farm mode, which we're on at the moment, is 884. On farm manager, and start from scratch, you do have 879 slots being used. And yeah, you can get down to 716 if you remove all the equipment. Because we come in here on farm manager and start from scratch, you still do have all the equipment at the farm. So yeah, we'll go over the equipment and then yeah, go over PDA and all that other good stuff. So in terms of own equipment, you've got the Massey Ferguson MF5S105, a new Holland T7 315HD. For your combines, you've got the John Deere T560 with its representative corn and, well, sorry, bean, or not bean, grain and corn header, and all of their respectable header trailers. Top of that, you got the Bratner Power 2 trailer, got a Elho Scorpio stone picker, you do really see that on a lot of um, maps and farms and that, especially as what the model gives and that, but nice to see that. Got a Lemkin Plow, Cockerling Cultivator, Coon Cedar, a Coon, well sorry, Coverland Planter, a Roller, Bell Loader and that, so really, okay you don't have a, a Baylor, you don't have anything to load onto the Bell Loader and that, but yeah that's easy personals now, like for example a Front Loader and that, I think, yeah, if I quit coming to you here, you know, front loader net, yeah, a couple of grand in that. Yeah, about 10 grand, 15 grand at most in that for a front loader. But anyway, so I'm going over the PDA. So, a very simplistic PDA overview. I do like to, yeah, that's deep outside the map in that. That is nice, that behind the PDA net. But anyway, so you do have a couple of fields. Fill prices aren't too bad, you know, around about the half mil mark is the most I've seen down here. 303 grand. Also, yeah, you can purchase the periphery net, which, thank you, and so well, it's free net, so. But yeah, also on new farm mode, you start with plots 24. I should get rid of that, so you start with that, fill free, and fill 61. But yeah, it's going to purchase that. But yeah, fields that generally good that, and it does say in the description that it is also drive friendly. So there are four or six fields, two zones for purchase of establishing your own farms, and then zones available for purchases and building your own factories, two cell points for your cereals, one for your fodder, two war points, and yeah, the model goes. Hope you enjoy the map. And yeah, again, do apologize if I not mentioned already. This is by Swiss Gym, 116.08 megabytes to download. Yeah, it's been a long day now. I've got a lot of videos I've got coming out today, so I do apologize on the messiness there a little bit. But, so yeah, obviously, got your main farm down here, right by the store net. So, the store is just down there, got a fuel point. Then, you got your market square, and then go down here, got your empty ship with your forage and nutrition cell points, nutri atom, I think that's called. Then going up north, you've got your autumn, sorry, Ugin Tobler net. And yeah, it comes to your cell points net, so go over here. Also, plenty of contracts are available on the map. 
decent price. And that's why, again, I'll say it's a good map for new players. And that is a really good map. Basic crop candor and that. But yeah, so the prices and that. So your Uten, Uten Gobber, Uten Tobler export and your Nutri Am. That's going to be the bulk of your main sell points. But yeah, mainly it's just the export and that. Nothing for grapes and olives, I'll admit. Again, there are some points you can put in if you wish. Things like the Sell Every Container by Schultz Modding. And then it comes to your production items. So have a look here. Yep, market square for pretty much everything in that. So yeah, actually, pretty bad. No, yeah, so pretty bad. Not too bad overall in that. So, you know, decent enough. And yeah, so go to the PDA. And there we go. So yeah, a very simple farm out farmhouse, a shed for your equipment, silo that. So very similar to what you may start with on Obey Rune in that. I'm not sure on the region that is based on it yet. Obviously, the map mapper's name is Swiss Farm. The Uton, but yeah, Hugen Tobler is was well, come up here on a Danish net. But the map name of that uh, is that French. I right, so. Yeah, not too sure what region this is based on that. I honestly, I can't tell. But God say, you know, some of these textures and that. Well, not textures, like some of these buildings and that. Chef's kiss and that. Absolutely beautiful. But anyways, going to the PDA, there is really, I think, no custom items that. I think I look at my notes. Yeah, nothing there. And other productions. Yeah, so yeah, really no custom stuff in that and yeah any custom because i did not check any custom textures in that well you got a bit of you know animal mud in that so oh that is actually is a nice texture in that so there is a couple of nice textures in that available in that not just the basic ones you see here but you do have a bit more well, as well as good thing there is no required mods i love to have a map that is no required mods yeah, it may seem, you know, a high bar nowadays and that, but... Well, not a high bar, but... Man, some of these maps have been coming up recently. Uh, yeah, it is a high bar in that. But I think what we do now, we find a look at the main farm that. So, yeah, it's literally very simple, very rudimentary in that. So, yeah, I think what we'll do, go across to the store, get a pickup truck. And then, we'll start touring the map. So, yeah, literally, just cross the road at the main store in that. And yeah, I think I'll, how I'll do my tour here today, and that is, I think this is going to be a simple loop around, so we'll come out of the store here, turn right, you know, go around, look at the Amadeer ship, have a look at some of these plotable areas, because I think, yeah, I think that, is, that is a buildable area. That is a huge buildable area, so there's plenty of areas again. Create your own farm that, so you're not restricted to, you know, a small plot of land and that, you know, to start off with and that. You do have pretty much a free creative reign in that and that's one thing I do love about these kind of maps in that where it's very simplistic very idyllic in that yes I think it's yeah using that Alpo Al Alpine yeah Alpine texture not Alpine uh, what's the word uh, map background that's what I'm looking for that we're very custom to in FS22 but that's not a bad thing to be honest honestly no, it ain't. And one thing I just want to quickly double check, is this our first map? Yeah, it is our first map, because yeah, I didn't think I came across Switch Gym before. Aiden Gym, a very famous model, yes, I'll come across him in that, but not Switch Gym in that, so... So yeah, you got got one of your buildable lot errors over here. And then yeah, we'll go across down. So yeah, playing spaces, you know, create a new farm, especially if you're playing this on like multiplayer. Again, perfect spaces available in that, you know, everyone has their own, their own plus of land. I think good thing I am driving on the right side of the road, or the wrong side of the road, but it is on the right. And yeah, so now we're at the um, dealership, so yeah, just a quick little tour around here. Another buildable area to your right. And yeah, I think we yeah, just gone past the... Nutri and them cell points. So this is going to be one of your main cell points for your grains and that. And then going across here is your forage animal. So your animal forage and that. So we'll go here. Things like your silage and that. Animal dealership. Just here. Dollar box. Obviously you got to have animal pens. But you get the gist of it. 
And yeah, I do apologise if I am a little bit of a hiccup to that today. Because, yeah, I'm getting all day now. I haven't really been doing too much of that. And, yeah, you know, just every so often, just have random hiccups in that. I haven't scoffed done through that. I have eaten in that. But, yeah, I don't know. But overall, you know, anyways, and that. It's an awesome map here. Very simple. Very well done in that. You know, things like the road in that. Like, the road is well done in that. So, yeah. Again, not too much to shout about, but the things that have been done, the things that have been implemented, are well done. And yeah, with all these build areas, you may say, oh, there's too much in that, but... Actually, I don't buy things like this in that, because you know why? I'd rather have something and, what's the old saying, you know, rather have something and not need it, than... Not need something but have it, or something along those lines, I know I'm butchering that up in that. But yeah, things like those... Buildable lot areas and that, you know what you can do? Get a plow, recommend a modded plow, and based on the you know, size of the roads and that, you can get away with the massive 22 and 26 meter um, plow and that. But yeah, in the same game, you don't need to go down that particular route if you don't want to. There are small plows available. There is the Colty plow that was being released, uh, uh, was released, um, what, about a month or so ago? Can't remember the name of it, the orange one. Got the lizard 6M and 9 name. 9M, so yeah, a very famous plow in that. So yeah, you can rip these fields up, at, or sorry, rip these lands up and create a field in that. Also, I've got to say now, as I you know, blast around here at 70 miles an hour in that. It is a very smooth road in that, so... Yeah, I may have gone a bit far in that, so you know what I could do is cut across here. I was meant to turn off at that last junction down there. Actually, is this a cliff here, so I'm going to eat off. Oh no, it was just a rolling hill, so... Oh, I thought it was going to have a little cliff then. But again, very square fields. It's a very simplistic and well done map. Now we're into the town area now, so... Let's take a slow down moves around the town net. And you got to say, you know the houses and that? Yeah, I'm sure there are assets that are available elsewhere in that, but... It's been well done. It's been well implemented. I hate to say the obvious in that, but... Hey, it was like, okay, cell point mod we had coming out recently in that. That building over there, no is in that. So yeah, I'm not going to say where this region is, because... That's two map tours I've done, I absolutely butchered it in that. Yeah, again, that was based due to lack of research in that. And there's nothing about what the mapper's given in that. So I could say Swiss, Danish, or French, so... I'm not going to get myself into trouble again, I'll say, you know, this is a beautiful, you know, French map in that. Because, yeah, again, I'm not f European in that, I'm from the UK in that, so I don't speak French, Danish, or Swiss, or whatever in that, so... Yeah, I don't know where it's based on, but wherever it is based on, is an absolute beautiful stunner of a map. Oh, a nice little aqueduct up here in that, so... I think, actually, what we can do, there is a road that leads up here, I think. Right, uh, so where are we to? So yeah, winding road like these up to here, and yeah, to get up to the top of that. Yeah, again, you know, go across here this build, huge buildable area in that. But again, if it, was, if it was me playing on this map, I'd have a couple of ideas on what I would do now. Things like, you know, I'll convert this as my main farm, and all the other buildable areas in that. Either create them into fields, sell them and then the AI could potentially take them over. See, I am jumping across here a little bit now. Just get to the aqueduct. Oop, there we go. But yeah, that's what I do is I'll, that area there, actually... Oh, things like that. When you give me a like, plot land like that, with fields already done, so this is like no man's land. However, it's been, it's already got fields in it, so rather, you know, have a complete, vast emptiness in that. It's, yeah, it is a mixture of no man's land, and I've got to say, a bit of Obey Rune in that, you know, you know, the hilliness of it, you know. There's some tight hills now, I'm going to have a little look at, or a little, I say it looks tight, you know, this windy road in that. I'll have a look at that as we go back to the farm and wrap things up in that. But yeah, it's got that mixture of Obey Rune kind of Frenchness to it in that. Again, I'm not going to say French, just not getting in trouble in that. But you know what I mean? You know, absolute beautiful of a map this is. Again, before I even get to my final thoughts and conclusion, 
This map, I do recommend that. It's simplistic, it's well done. I've not come across any bugs in that. I've perhaps played on the map for, what, half an hour or so off camera? On another save file on that, and... Yeah, I can't read really fault in that, so... Where are we to? So I'm going to do a cheeky resell on that. Because, yeah, I want to go up that windy hill, so... We're at the store on that. So, yeah, literally, out of here, straight across, past the farm net. Lovely jubbly. So, yeah, I think on... Yeah, I'll show you what. I'll save it until we get to the top of the hill before I do my final thoughts and conclusion and rating. But, yeah, I've got to say that. It is absolute again, well done. The texture, textures and just how everything's done in that, you know. Yeah, it takes a bit of work in that, it takes a bit of effort in that. I'm not a mapper, I am not a modder in that, so... Ooh, look at this. That is nice. Yeah, again. Maybe to someone that is a simple... To a modern map maker in that, this may look simple in that. But to me, that does look impressive in that. Again, yes, I can fault some little things, you know, as I'm going across and that, you know. A couple of little, yeah, little bits here like that. Again, I'm being super nitpicky. Here. Again, when I do my map reviews mod uh, and all that stuff, and I've already gone past it, haven't I? Yeah, so... I think you know what, I'll loop around and go, go across here and that. Yeah, pay attention to chat away and that, give my thoughts on the map and that, give you little, my my own opinions on the map and that as I'm going across and that. But yeah, I'm not showcasing it off now, so I do apologise there. But yeah, I do love this little switchback here and that, you know, go through the little village and that. Through the rural community area. And yeah, so I should also let me know, what about the sensitivity now? Because again, recently I have upgraded to the PS5 sim and yeah. I've been doing all my map tours and mod reviews on here and that, so... Or as of late and that, so... Do let me know of how it looks like. Yeah, I think... May need to adjust the sensitivity in that. And done, here we go. And uh, yeah, I think that is pretty much it in that, so... Again, nice things being well done. I love like, the local community in this vibe to in that. So yeah, I think really that's really the map and that. That is the Domain du de Mir Malin or Madam. No, Malin, sorry. And yeah, so yeah, come back to Aussie where we just came from and that and all that fuss I did. If I just continue along here it would have been fine, but uh, anyways. So yeah, now for my final thoughts and conclusion, what do I think of the map? For someone's first map in that, or at least from my impression, it's the first map on the mod hub in that. The name I do not recognise from FS19 in that. I doubt it's Aiden Jim in that, with another account in that. But yeah, so overall, it's a good map in that. So for a new player to the game, really, this is a. If I had to recommend a modern map for a player in that, I've got to say it's this now. For a new player to the game, they, again, I know there's better maps out there in that. Don't get me wrong. There are. Far, far better maps up there, but for someone who's new to the game, new to the franchise and that, you can't go wrong with this. You've got the buildable areas and that over here. So yeah, create your own production hub if you want. Plenty of square fields, so it is all worker friendly. If you're on PC, it's also drive friendly in that, so... Because yeah, again, that's also things I have issues with, other things than that. Is the AI in that gets a bit all haywire in that, so I just picked a random spot. That's going to go off on its way eventually in a minute. But yeah, huge area here to do a building and farm. And I've had to give this a rating out of 5. I've got to say, it's like 4.5 out of 5, I've got to say. Because yeah, it's simplistic, it's well done, it's almost perfect. Yes, a couple of little details with some off the road markings, and that's actually what well, I didn't give a 5 out of 5, fuck it. Oh yeah, well, I've got to rework on how I do my ratings and that, because at the end of the day, for what the map is, for what it provides, it's a perfect map almost, and that. Yeah, again, a couple of visual glitches here and there with the room markings, as I mentioned, but that is not really noticeable to, like, 99% of the people in that. If you're, you know, doing farming, playing the game, then yeah, you ain't gonna notice it, but things like me and that... Okay, we're taking a bit long there, so I'm just gonna drive around. 
So yeah, again, that under like the 1% of people where they'll look at things with a micro magnifying glass and that. I was going to say a microphone, but no. So anyways, as always, if you found this helpful and affordable in some way, shape or form, this is the Domain Do Your Mirror Manning by Swiss Farm. Recommend the map, again, for new players and that, or again, for someone who's a simplistic map. But anyways, as always, hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, then please leave a like. If you want to share them, please do. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share them, please do, if you want. But, for choose to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer, Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.